And so now, moments later, this same animal is walking along the river, in the channel, in the aquatic environment, grazing stuff on the riverbank, the riparian vegetation. And, um, that really, that really is interesting. Um, I mean, you can see the, the location of all the other animals, not, not overly fussed by the river at all. But I think one of the key questions is whether the, be, the, the driving factor is the need to graze, whether the cow would get into that river irrespective of whether it was there or not, if it meant it could easily access whatever the easiest way of accessing that riparian vegetation is. Because there's no reason why it couldn't stand on the bank. No reason at all. But it was having a drink, it's come along now, it's in the river, it's moving along, and eating eating the We are just picking up on the same animal again here and it's been in the aquatic environment for about five minutes and it's just leaving now which is great to be able to, to see that. Um, it was very interesting to see, to try and figure out why the animal decided to get into the river at that point. Um, temperatures around 11 degrees, it's uh, coming up to uh, 10 past 10 on um, the 19th of April 2010. Thermal regulation doesn't seem like um, an easily justify conclusion. So, um, just coincidence, uh, was drinking and thought, oh, I can't be bothered to get back up the bank and graze, so I might as well walk along the river for a little bit. Um, was it just relaxing? Does it care? Um, all kinds of different questions to try and figure out. It would be great to know um, the spe specific properties of um, the aquatic environment it just entered, particularly the flow height, depth um, and velocity.